Hello and welcome back to Bits and Bobs. Today's video is all about the 1806 farthing from the reign of King George III. The coin you can see on screen now. I'll first go through the design of the coin and then move on to the facts and figures. So here we have the reverse design, featuring a portrait of Lady Britannia with a trident by her side and a shield there bearing the Union flag. Now we can see in her hand a sprig of leaves and then behind her is the sea with a boat in the distance as of course Britannia rules the waves. At the top of the coin we can see there the wording in capitals of Britannia, of course linking to the country in which this coin circulated, and the portrait on the coin, of course, of Lady Britannia. And then around the rim we can see small teeth, milling or beading, preventing the coin from being clipped or shaven, and ensuring no damage would come to the coin's edges from those looking to steal copper from the coin. We can see the little word Soho there, linking to where it was made, more on that later. Moving over to the obverse of the coin, you can see a portrait here of King George III, now this is his bust of the later years. He has a short hair and a laurel wreath facing to the right with a draped clothing around his neck. Below him is the date of the coin, 1806. And then the wording to the top and around him, Georgius III DG Rex, meaning George III by the grace of God, King. The titles he held whilst being King, as he was in 1806. And once again on the rim, we can see small teeth, milling or beading, again preventing the coin from being clipped or shaven so no copper could be stolen from this farthing. There's the design of the coin, and we'll now move on to the facts and figures of the 1806 farthing. This is a coin minted at the Soho Mint in Birmingham, as the coin says there, as the Royal Mint outsourced production of these that year, or 1806 and 1807, to the Soho Mint. These were composed of 100% pure copper, so no alloys at all used, it's just 100% one metal, pure copper, with a value of one farthing. The weight of these coins is 4.72 grams, so a pretty heavy coin for its relatively low value, and a diameter of 21 millimeters, so com for comparison, the same size as a 20 pence coin today. The mintage of this year of farthing is 4,833,768, so almost 5 million produced, not a scarce coin, but not inc inc incredibly common, especially after all these years for today. The farthing coin is worth one quarter of a penny, which is one forty-eighth of a shilling, and one 960th of a pound sterling. And back in 1806, a farthing was equal to around 12 pence today, so more comparable with a 10 pence piece today, or a farthing coin back then, for the buying power of the coin. And the coin was demonetized in 1869, as the all copper coins are demonetized in favor of the new bronze coinage. Now then, moving on to the value of the coin today for a collector, it'll sell for around two pounds in poor condition, around 10 pounds in fine condition, up to £50 in extremely fine condition, and £115 in uncirculated grade. So although, you know, fairly expensive, not too high price for the higher grades, a nice coin to get if you want a high grade, high relief George III coin from over 200 years ago. And do comment down below if you already have one in your collection. So there we go. Please subscribe to the channel if you've enjoyed. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you again soon for some more coins in the future on Bits and Bobs. Bye for now.